Welcome to Apex Legends. I'm joined here with uh, Jake and Derek, as always. Well, not always. Not like last week. Fucking Adam took my place. Fuck that guy. Anyway. That's what you get for taking that trip to... Introducing your champion. Check out I, I had so many messed up jokes in my head. Oh, Same! Yeah. So, if you guys could, like, dress up and fit any style... Like, if you could pull off any style that you wanted to, what would be, like, your uh, your favorite style? Like, what style would you pick up if you could pull it off? Like, dress style. Huh. Well, I mean, I already bought the cowboy boots, so now I just need the cowboy hat <laughs> and the big-ass belt buckle. Right. That says, don't mess with Texas. What shirt would complement that? Oh, dude, flannel. Flannel? Okay. Yeah, okay. flannel all day. Do you get, like, one of those uh, bolo tie uh, necklaces things? Nope, there is no way in hell. Because even if, in this magical world where I could pull off anything, bolo ties are never cool. Yeah? You don't think so? Nope. Nope, nope. nope. I, I honestly think that some people can pull them off. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Oh, and to complement the style, I would need to be able to grow a baller-ass beard. So, I can't do that. <laughs> mm hmm yeah, I feel that. What about you, Matt? What would what would what would your ideal style be if you could throw away the uh, basketball shorts and the Superman shirt? Oh, uh, fuck! My ideal style. Yeah. Anything I want, and like, like, is it going to be guaranteed to look good on me? Yeah, you you're absolutely going to pull it off. Gotham Every vampire. woman on Tinder will swap, swipe right. Fucking old English gothic vampire. Fucking. That is fucking specific. Yeah. Hell yeah, bud. <laughs> like, what specifically draws you to that? It just fancy as shit, dude. So, like, are you gonna wear a top hat? Hey, zipline up to the top here. Looking like Jack. No, 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 no. No, like, hat of any kind. Like, some, uh, circle... Hey, we got a lot of enemies behind below us. Yeah, there's three of them. Uh, like, some circle spectacles. Like that sick-ass... I should probably focus on fighting. Nah, fuck it. Keep going. Would you wear a monocle? No. Why the fuck not? I think you gotta get the monocle, bro. Yeah, man, if you are telling me you would dress old school English and not wear a monocle, then you're not really dressing old school English. Where are you at? Where are you at? They're in here. I hear them running, I think, on the outside. No, they're all in there. I'm gonna go down. Oh, you're gonna drop down. Yeah, yeah, not my typical way of going down. Oh, I'm down. Ooh, damn it. They had uh, purple shields. Yeah, they did, and we came at them in waves. Which is the best way to die in this game, is just going in waves. It sure no, is. I, I really like to em employ the uh, str strategy of villains from action movies where you attack one at a time. Yeah, you like to be extra number three in John Wick. Yeah, yeah, that's my thing. Like, I know he just beat the shit out of 20 guys, but I'm the one. Hey, fair. You're a respectable villain. Exactly. Oh my god, I smell like fucking Burger King onions. That's almost as specific as Victorian era vampire. There's, there's something about whenever I smell a Burger King onion, it smells different than any onion I've smelt in my life. And I don't know why. Is it sweeter? Does it get you going thinking about that Burger King onion? No, I mean, I, I despise it just as much as any onion. I think the only way that an onion should exist is to complement other food. And it should never be raw, but there's just something about the way that it complements Burger King's design of a burger that makes it smell more ripe. Your opinion on onions bothers me to no end. 
And I just really want to make that known. Because I... The onion, in my opinion, is the best topping for so many foods. Right, it's... But do you like it raw? Yes, absolutely. I just... I can't... It's gotta be cooked, or else it's just... It's too much. It overpowers. It's... It just overstays its welcome. Look, you can trust me, alright? Because when I fire up the grill, I put on my cowboy boots and flannel... And that's a man who knows how to grill, all right? Without what the bolo tie. Wait, without the bolo tie, all right? I don't, I'm too manly for that. So, you get your good, get, you know, you you just sear the burger. Just to lock in the juices. You keep it nice and warm pink in the middle. And then you fucking slap some lettuce, tomato, raw pink onion on that bad boy. And some mayonnaise on the top bun. Obviously, you gotta have cheese. It's a cheeseburger. And boom, perfect burger. That sounds like a good burger because the onion is not doing the bulk of the work. I completely dislike onions in salad. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it Ugh. it it overtakes the nature of the salad. You bother me. You bother me, sir. Yep. That's what everybody tells me. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a lot in my life. I'm kind of numb to it. So, going back, uh, how how can you want to dress from a Victorian era and not wear the monocle? That's literally the only time it's acceptable to wear a monocle. And personally, I would kill to be able to pull off the monocle. I want the John Lennon glasses. Just the little circular spectacles. Uh, yeah, those, those are my favorite style of glasses. Like, I'm actually seriously blind, so I need glasses I, either way. I'm getting those John Lennon uh, spectacles, bud. Minute. The ring is far. And I just want a long, black, sharp trench coat with high collar. You know, maybe not even black. I'll have, I'll have them in all sorts of colors, like a fucking royal purple. Fucking love purple. I am more of a fan of the style of sunglasses that is, uh... Just... A really, really aggressive pair of Oakleys. I want my sunglasses to scream, I have a small penis and don't you ever doubt it. As I drive my jacked up truck and rev the engine at stoplights so that girls think I'm cool. I want my sunglasses to say that, yeah, I hit my wife once or twice. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, like, <laughs> what, what, you going to find me, pussy? <laughs> I, I like my sunglasses to say that while I drink my Bud Light, I watch NASCAR and make my wife clean house. I want my sunglasses to say I don't watch NASCAR anymore since they got rid of the Confederate flag. <laughs> <laughs> I want my sunglasses to exude the confidence that I could take on anyone because the only person I've ever fought is my wife. <laughs> I want my sunglasses to say, yeah, my dad was a vicious alcoholic, so what? I, I think I'm out of sunglasses jokes. <laughs> Derek, I think that last one was a bit too true. I feel, I feel like we really summed <laughs> up. I own a pair of Oakleys, too, so that cut a little close to home. <laughs> I don't beat my girlfriend. Yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oof. Uh, don't watch this. Jake's girlfriend. It's okay. She doesn't watch our videos anyways. <laughs> Her brother does. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Basically, why I asked the whole style thing is I watched a movie last night called Guns Akimbo, and it's got a really sick soundtrack, and one of those is a song called Real Wild Child, and it's a cover version that Iggy Pop did, but my first taste of that song was by Jerry Lee Lewis, and I was listening to it again. And I think that if I were to pick a prime style that I could pull off, it would be the 50s greaser rockabilly type. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good yeah. choice. Just tight-ass jeans, leather jacket, pompadour haircut, and just sipping malt milkshakes down at the diner. That's good. That is a good choice, sir. I'll give you yeah. that one. Like, I was so obsessed with the idea today that I just started looking up leather jackets on the internet and they are expensive. Contact. Anybody got a sniper? I've got a sniper. Never mind. They got a charge rifle. 
I don't have any sights for my sniper, which would be ideal. Alright. Oh, Matt's, Matt's just going. Yeah, fuck it. I missed every shot. Same. Just follow her, follow her. She is, she's pushing, she's Got pushing. It. I need help. I need That's help. That's a grenade. Where'd that grenade come from? I think we're getting hit by another team. Probably. I'm burning. Alright. Oh, Ooh. shit. We're getting attacked by a lot of squads, boys. Yeah, yeah. we're kind of split, too. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't realize where you guys went. I'm just healing. One's coming, Matt. One's coming. One's coming? Fuck! You still got a sniper at the top of our zip line? That one's kind of hurt. She went around the corner. There's another one right there, Matt. Yep, there sure is. Yep. Ah. Uh, oh. I got a kill. I did too. That yeah, sucked. Cause we all got a kill. That sucked. We went in for that fight, and then every fucking squad ever showed up. Yeah. When I was coming up for the idea for this conversation, I actually watched the uh, the ending to Greece today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It reminded me of this old idea that I had with your brother years ago, where we were gonna do a shot for shot remake. Of the uh, "You're the One That I Want" song from Greece, where he would play John Travolta's character and I would play Olivia Newton-John's character. <laughs> I would be uncomfortable watching that. <laughs> Just two grown-ass men lip-syncing to "You're the One That I Want" and just like lovingly embracing each other. I don't know. After you finish that, you could actually remake. You could remake the scene uh, from Spider Man, the first one with Tobey Maguire, where he's <laughs> hanging upside down. <laughs> Who's Tobey Maguire? Me or your brother? Hey, Derek, if you want to do that last one, I'll, I'll, I'll help. You'll well, help. Now yeah. we have to figure out who's going to be it. You or Matt? I'll be Mary Jane. I think that's a pretty good deal. Oh. That's that scene had to be like one of the most uncomfortable scenes for Tobey Maguire because he's hanging upside down with water pouring into his nose. <laughs> you don't want to get kidding. waterboarded while you make out with somebody. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. All right, let's all land together. There's a diamond trail over there. That's oh. where they're landing. Okay, other side, other side. Abort. <laughs> Oh, another team landed on this side with us. All right, I got a gun. Is there a second one in there, Matt? Uh, shit. Yeah, if you want that one, here you go. I don't care either way. Oh, shit, I dropped the wrong one. Can I, can I get that R301 back? Thank you, bud. Yep. I got one down. We're getting aimed at from somewhere. Ooh. Over here. Behind you. Yep. I'm ducking back in. Sorry, boys. We got this. Does the anybody trapped. have any healing? Uh, I gotta bust out this med kit. Grenade, watch out. Alright, Jake, you take the back since you're most hurt. I already jumped up here. Oh, to the right, too. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh. Right here. Uh, I can't shoot through your shield. Right here. Fuck. Yep. Damn. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Man, I held my own. <laughs> 
You guys are welcome. Right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you go in the description, you can find our Twitter and Discord. And you can come hang out with us. We'll make funny goofs and ha-has. So, come back again. Bye. Hello? We heard the terrible stuff you said about our sunglasses. You thought it was a funny bit, huh? Well, do you think it's funny now, you son of a bitch? Oh, shit!